so Grant Cardone, legendary fake guru, billionaire real estate investor, and a member of Scientology, he is in a cult as well, if you weren't aware of that, uh, he actually attacked CoffeeZilla on an Instagram story just one day ago. And I'll give him credit, the actual attack that he did was actually kind of funny. There's, you know, a lot of stuff that isn't true there, but it's kind of funny. We'll actually play that in just a minute. But a lot of people are speculating as to why he would do this and as to why he would do this right now. Now, if you actually go to CoffeeZilla's subreddit on Reddit, uh, a lot of people on that subreddit think that he's doing this to try and get attention from CoffeeZilla so that CoffeeZilla would potentially make another video about him. And I actually disagree with that. I'm gonna provide some evidence. I actually think that Grant actually has too much attention on him right now. And I think this is actually a diversion tactic. I think that he wants people to talk about a feud that Grant is having with CoffeeZilla. He's hoping that CoffeeZilla will make another video about him like he did with Logan, and then they can start talking about that feud. But what is really going on is I think Grant Cardone is trying to deflect some attention uh, from actual investigations that are going on by the government into him, into an, his business as well. He actually had an investigation that was closed, uh, and another, another judge actually just reopened it less than a month ago. Uh, a, a big fraud investigation into his business. And I think he wants, you know, the attention to be on him and CoffeeZilla. Uh, so we're gonna look at all of that. We're gonna look at his video. Uh, and we're also going to look at uh, what's really going on behind the scenes. But first, let's take a look at this video that he posted. He posted this on his Instagram just one day ago, attacking CoffeeZilla, and actually said, you know, CoffeeZilla uh, gave him a bunch of attention, gave him a bunch of, you know, new viewers and, and all of that. And I don't, I don't think that's really the case, but we'll cover that. So let's take a, a brief look at this. Steven, man, look, big shout out, my friend. I want to give you a big shout out for sending me so much traffic. So many new clients, so many new customers. Bro, you're, bruh, you're amazing, you're amazing. You pit. Okay, what's interesting about this is I actually looked on CoffeeZilla's page. CoffeeZilla hasn't done a video dedicated to Grant Cardone since June or July of 2021. So like a year and a half, he hasn't made a video about this guy. He briefly featured Grant Cardone in a fake guru video um, about six, seven months ago. But CoffeeZilla only focuses on cryptocurrency scams right now which is fine, I'm, I'm not bashing that. Uh, it, you know, his, his channel has blown up since he started doing that, but he doesn't really cover fake gurus anymore. And I think, you know, Grant Cardone is, is trying to get a bunch of attention for this to deflect from what's really going on. I do want to apologize to all your viewers and yourself directly. I want to walk it back. Not everybody can be a billionaire. Let me tell you who cannot be a billionaire. Number one, people that think like you, Steve. People that spend most of their time pimping out for Google taking your little ad bitch dollars, you're criticizing other people that are successful because you gave up on it. Quitters will never make it. Low for All right, so I disagree with that. He's, he, CoffeeZilla is obviously what I'm trying to do as well, uh, is expose scammers who are you know potentially defrauding people. He's not just you know bitching on people who are very successful, uh, like Grant Cardone says in the video. That's you know a bastardization of what he's actually doing on his channel. You guys that stay home, comfortable in your house, you're never gonna make it. You ain't gonna kill a brick. Shit, you probably won't even get a million dollars, okay? Because you gave up. You guys that won't, will, you're not willing to leave your mama's house, you still live in the basement, probably like Steven. Uh, so Steven is actually married. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure he owns his own house as well. He's not living in the basement of his, his mother's home. You just want to make YouTube videos about other people that have done whatever it takes. And you guys that stay in college, you stay in college too long, you spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to college to waste five years of your life. But then you talk about $12,000 to get a seat at the table to come hang out with people that are winning. That's absolutely ridiculous that anyone would pay $12,000 to be in the room with Grant Cardone, but it's true. He has the events all over the world uh, where he has these you know, massive amounts of money that you have to pay to be in a room, to learn information from him. And for some reason, people pay that insane amount of money to get information from this, this cult member, uh, Grant Cardone. Too much money? You guys that save money, you bitches, you're never gonna make it. I'm just keeping it real, okay? Steven, again, thank you so much. CoffeeZilla, you guys are the best. Thank you for growing my platform god bless be great kill a break okay so grant cardone is trying to say that coffeezilla is growing his platform i disagree with that i actually think potentially grant's a little drunk in this video just my opinion uh but i think there's two main things that are going on with as to why he did this like i said coffee hasn't made a video about this guy in over a year and a half doesn't really talk about fake gurus much anymore um but there's two things so you can see in the background of this instagram post grant cardone's crazy billionaire advice 
And if you actually Google, if you actually put Grant Cardone into YouTube search, and I would love for people to do this as well so you can confirm it, but on my computer, if I put Grant Cardone into search, I'll see two videos that come up directly from Grant's channel. And then the very first video that's not from Grant is that video Grant Cardone's crazy billionaire advice from CopyZilla posted over a year ago has 1.1 million views. So what that means is that everyone who searches for Grant Cardone in YouTube search, they're gonna see the CopyZilla video. That's the first video not from Grant Cardone that's gonna pop up on their screen. They're gonna see he's a fake guru. Uh, it's a pretty funny video if you haven't watched it already. And you can see that's in the background of Grant Cardone's video in his Instagram story. So honestly, I think he's pretty pissed about that, that anyone who searches for him, you know, a video calling him out as a scammer, first video that pops up. Now, another thing that's going on, like I said, uh, there's been a bunch of investigations that have been going on as to Grant Cardone's business and what's really happening. And this has actually been going on for years. In fact, I know this is gonna be hard to believe. Uh, there's another YouTuber by the name of Meet Kevin. I'm not a fan of Meet Kevin. I've made plenty of videos about him on my channel. But before Meet Kevin himself became a fake guru, uh, he was actually very hard on Grant Cardone back in 2018 and 2019. He made a bunch of videos calling Grant Cardone out and actually accused Grant Cardone of possibly doing some very shady, real, very shady real estate deals. This is a deal that Cardone Capital just bought. Here's the deed showing the purchase price, just under $134 million. Yet on this pamphlet, it says that their equity is $39.4 million, which is supposed to represent 25% equity, which means they're saying the building is worth $157 million. The form says at acquisition, this was their equity. Are they trying to deceive new investors or what's up with this? Okay, so basically what's going on in that clip, Meet Kevin is showing that Grant Cardone's business bought a property and then saying it's worth more value to the people who actually invested in his business. So they're saying they have inflated assets uh, that aren't true. Now, uh, like I said, Meet Kevin did a bunch of videos on Grant Cardone in 2018, 2019. And then eventually what happened, I did a video on this. Uh, Meet Kevin actually went to Grant Cardone's business uh, and he was actually put in handcuffs because he dressed up as, as Santa Claus and kind of like burst into the building uninvited. Uh, so there was this big investigation. Grant Cardone actually alleged that he uh, that Meet Kevin was stalking him. So Meet Kevin does not talk about Grant Cardone at all anymore on his channel, but that's an old video from 2019 where Meet Kevin alleged uh, that Grant Cardone was doing some very shady businesses. Now it actually gets worse from there because another channel growing up in Scientology, uh, this is a guy who used to be a part of Scientology. He got in when he was a child. Uh, he escaped that. Now he, he actually exposes a lot of uh, what's going on in Scientology. I actually did an interview with him. I'll have a link to that. This guy actually dug even deeper uh, at, into what is going on with Grant Cardone and alleges that even more of the properties that Grant Cardone has purchased for his business uh, are a misrepresentation, or they're misrepresenting them to the actual people who are investing in his business as to how much these properties are actually worth. Well, it looks like deceiving new investors is exactly what Grant Cardone was trying to do. And not only that, it was part of a scheme to convert his investors' capital directly into personal profits put into Grant's own pocket. The deal that Kevin mentioned there was a project called Columbia Town Center. This was a project that Grant bought in December of 2019, and Kevin was reporting on it in March of 2020. And as they say, if you see one cockroach, there's probably a hundred more that you can't see. It occurred to me that if Kevin was finding this deal uh, in, in December 2019, just months after the deal occurred, then why don't we go back to the very first deal that Grant Cardone did when he expanded beyond the scope of just investing for friends and family and started raising money from accredited and unaccredited investors. Why don't we go back to that point and examine every single deal between September 2016 and December 2019. Grant Cardone purchased 13 deals that he then sold to his Cardone Capital investors. And depending on which purchase price you wanna use for each property, whether we're talking about the actual purchase price that Grant Cardone actually paid, or the false inflated purchase price that Grant Cardone told his investors that he paid. The total purchase price of the 13 properties was between one and $1.1 billion. Grant Cardone and Cardone Capital does not disclose the actual purchase price of these properties 
to Cardone Capital Investors. All right, so that's a video from Aaron. I'll have a link to the full video if you wanna check that out. But basically he's alleging that even more uh, improper numbers as to what the, the cost of his properties are, Grant Cardone, uh, there's a lot of misinformation going on as to the actual business. Now from there, what's really interesting is that Grant Cardone and his business, they were actually uh, involved in a class action lawsuit uh, in Los Angeles, California. It was filed initially, basically claiming that uh, he had misled investors, everything that was going on in this story, he had misled investors uh, on social media about potential profits they could make from his multifamily deals because he's misrepresenting how much these properties are worth. And this was actually, this case was thrown out initially. Uh, so Grant Cardone initially dodged a bullet. It was thrown out. But just last month, another federal judge actually reopened the case and is now allowing the class action lawsuit to go forward against Grant Cardone and his business. So this is massive. This is a $5 billion in apartment rental complexes in South Florida that they're alleging, you know, basically they're saying you can make more money than you actually can. And if he were actually to be, you know, if, this, if he were to lose this case, uh, it could be absolutely devastating to his business. Now, a lot of people are not talking about this. This just happened just over one month ago that this case was reopened. Uh, and Grant Cardone, like I said, could be in massive hot water. And I think this whole Instagram, this post that he did attacking CoffeeZilla, I think all of this is to potentially try and get CoffeeZilla to make a video about him and to get people talking about, you know, a new feud between CoffeeZilla and Grant Cardone. Because, you know, whether you like it or not, I guarantee you Logan Paul got a bunch of new viewers, uh, a bunch of new subscribers to his channel because of all that attention. Even though, you know, it was mostly bad attention. Uh, that's, that's just how it works. I'm sure he got a bunch of attention. And I'm sure Grant Cardone wants the actual attention to be him on, on the feud between him, him and CoffeeZilla. When what's really going on uh, is he's trying to cover up that he's currently being investigated. A class action lawsuit uh, is now reopened, uh, alleging, you know, this $5 billion apartment fraud that's potentially going on with his business. And I, I actually think he, he could be in really serious trouble. So I think that's what's really going on. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments below as to what you think. Is Grant Cardone just, you know, was he, did he get too drunk one night uh, and he saw that the number one video when you search Grant Cardone is from CoffeeZilla, so he's pissed about that? Or do you think he's trying to cover up this whole investigation? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And again, I'll have a link to that Scientology uh, Aaron video where he exposes Grant Cardone as well. That's down below.